Okay, so like I said, uh, if we didn't go through this, you would be experiencing what you just did first time in the diploma. It's just that simple. Okay, so be thankful. I don't know if you've ever woken up from one of those really bad nightmares and you're like, oh crap, I'm glad that wasn't real. That's what today is supposed to be. This is not going to be good this next two weeks, okay? But I will tell you, you can have it. There's some people that aren't even here. They're not going through the stress you're going through right now. They're so lucky. Okay, but just wait how that turns around on Diploma Day. It'll be 100% reversed. In fact, they'll, you might see them walking out after one hour. Okay, those are your students that walk out after one hour. Over there, there's a bunch of booklets. Okay, so polynomial functions was the first one we ever did. And this is the stuff you need to know about. X-intercepts, domain, Y-intercepts, range, end behavior, and number of turning points. Now, the number of x-intercepts, or the possible, will equal the degree. If you check your study sheet out, you'll see that. The domain, the y-intercept, and the range we know about, the end behavior we talked about yesterday, and number of possible turning points. Okay, does anyone remember about that? Yeah, nice. It's one less than the degree. That's the maximum it can have. It can have less than that. But if you have 3x minus 5. Now if you remember, this is the y-intercept, negative 5. And you go up 3 over 1. So it, we're dealing with something like this. Now, there is 1x int, right? It has a y int of negative 5. What's a mathematical way of finding y int? Make x equal 0. So you can put that in your calculator and then hit trace 0. Do you remember that? Okay. The range. This one's always the first one you ever learn domain and range on. People are like, I get it. Then you do another one. They're like, I don't get it anymore. Okay. What's the range? Well, let's do domain actually first. Domain, x in the reals, range, y is in the reals. What's the end behavior? So end behavior is quadrant 3 to quadrant 1. This is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so this one here, now it, it would be a parabola going like this. Now, how many possible x-intercepts? Possible. One. Two. Two possible x-ints. Why? Because it's degree two. What do we know about the domain? No, this max will always deal with your y. X in the reals for this one. Now, when you do put this one in, you'll find this has, this is uh, 10. Okay? So our range, if that's 10, what would our range be? Less than or equal to 10. Good. Yes. Okay. Uh, end behavior. Because no matter how you put this, it will always start in 3 and go to 4. How many possible turning points? Possible turning points equals 1. Okay, this one goes like this. And I mean, you'll graph these in your graphing calculator. It's not like, holy crap, I can't remember how to do that. Okay, you have that thing with buttons on it. You can use it. How many possible x ints? So three possible x ints. 
Domain. X in the reals. Range. Y is in the reals. Okay. Now, what is the Y int? You can just by looking at it. Very good. Negative 10. Because when you put a uh, X of 0 in there, it gets rid of this, this, and this, right? Okay. You're not going to have a max on this. End behavior. Q3 to Q1. Possible turning points. Two possible turning points. Okay. So they're going to ask you something like that. I'm going to quiz you on something like that. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay. Now. Okay. Now these, we worked with these yesterday. Okay. So this is just an L1, L2, and linear regression. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to put that in. And we, we talked about this yesterday already, right? We know how to do this. You'll get plus 6.5. So it's your stat plot, right? Make sure it was on. Now, it says use linear regression to achieve the price of $1.50 per shirt. Because they're showing you the more shirts you buy, the cheaper you can get them for. Now, is that the Y or the X? Okay. So then how would you find it in your calculator? Y2 equals 150. And you will get X to equal 769 shirts. Okay. So it's more important that you know, don't use trace on that one. Trace is if they give me the number of shirts. I mean, sorry, trace is if they give me, yeah, the number of shirts. Okay, I would trace 600 shirts to see. Now, if this was a, uh, if I was coming back the second time, I would hit trace 769, see if I get 150, right? Do you see how they get each other? And we're going to really work on that too. Guys, is there a problem back there? You need to watch this, right? Because I don't want you asking tomorrow, how did I get that? Now, this one here, same exact thing. You got your L1, oops, your L2, this always stands for X, that stands for Y. You're going to use quad regression, and you'll get Y to equal, oops, in the wrong spot, Y to equal negative 10.07X squared plus 51.41X plus 11. So these are typical numerical response questions because they'll say use the equation to find the height of the ball 4.5 seconds. Am I y 2 it or am I tracing? It seems like we've got a, I don't know, arm wrestle, flip a coin. Like, well, how should we do this? It's trace because they give me an X. Okay? If they give an X, use trace. And just always make sure your window settings are appropriate because sometimes you'll get an error. Don't freak out. It's like, well, it's not showing up on my screen. That's why. And it's always trace up, right? Because you got your points and you got your 4.5 and you get 38.4. See, perfect numerical response question. Now, when did the ball hit the ground? Ah, very good. When y2 equals 0. And you will get an answer of 5.31 seconds. Again, a very, a very good numerical response because it's four things. And they like those. Okay, any questions as I'm going through these? Okay, next one. Now again, this is your L1, this is your L2, therefore that always stands for your X, that will always stand for your Y. And this one is cubic regression. Okay, that is number six on your calculator. 
and you get y equals 7.06x cubed plus negative 7735x squared plus 1069.99x plus 7208. And you get an r squared of 0 0.997. Okay, remember those r squared values? They, the closer they are to 1, the better it is for that. So they may, uh, they may give you data and they'll say, which one of these is best to display this? And you're going to be like, I don't know. Look for the best r value. Try linear regression. Try cubic regression. And try the uh, quadratic regression. Whatever gives you the best value. Now, this one they asked, so it didn't matter. Now, which, so this, uh, it says, use your equation to determine the, or estimate the, the year in which the number of females who entered a program was 20,000. What do they give me? They give me Y2. Now, they will have the answer if you think it's your trace. Okay? So don't think, you guys, just because the answer is there, you got it right. They do them all wrong really purposeful they want to say that they they sit around for hours they they uh, field test these things like crazy to make sure there's they don't just put random numbers down they do it wrong they see your wrong answers they see the most common wrong answers through the province they put those on okay so you will get x to equal 11.48 okay but it asked to f estimate the year. Now, if you go back to the chart, it's years after 1990. So, 1 would be 1991. So, what year? What's the year? 1990 plus 1148 and you will get 2001.48 but it would happen in the year 2001 okay so we're working on page 49 to 53